This is another racial comparison question, which is pretty common. Andy saved a total of $108 in coins in his coin box. Two-thirds of all the coins saved were $1 coins. There were three times as many $1 coins as 50 cent coins. The remaining coins were 20 cent coins. How many coins did Andy save in his coin box altogether? In order to be able to finish the entire paper leaving some time for checking, you should finish this question under 4 minutes. Pause the video to get doing. In order to solve this, students require a good mental flexibility. Mental flexibility is one of the most important executive functions that children need in order to solve math problem sums. And that is why at ILAC, we focus on the training of mental flexibility alongside the training of math heuristics so children can solve problem sums easily. The most common issue that children face when dealing with problem sums is the inability to digest and organize information presented to them. This task makes it hard for them to identify the correct heuristics to use in order to solve the question. Therefore, my advice for children is always to organize their information neatly so they can spot the pattern and remember the heuristic to use. For racial comparison questions, I'll usually advise my students to arrange all information into a table. There are altogether three different types of coins, and the total number of units are given as well. Given that $1 coins are two-thirds of all the coins, I'll write two units and three units in the columns as shown. The question then said there are three times as many $1 coins as 50 cent coins, which is a different ratio from the ones above. So I'll write that information at a new row. Notice that two bits of information are given under $1. The heuristics that should come to mind immediately will be repeated identity, which means whatever numbers that are under $1 should be the same. Since they are not, we will have to make them the same by finding their common multiple, which is 6. Note that the ratio between $1 coins and the total should remain the same. Therefore, the total in the first row should become 9 units. The same has to be done to the ratio between $1 and 50 cents. Therefore, 50 cents should become 2 units. Given that each unit comes with a coin value, use quantity times value method to find the total value of the coins in units. $1 times 6 units gives $6 units. 50 cents times 2 units gives $1 unit. 20 cents times 1 unit gives 20 cents units. Altogether, we have $7.20 units which equals to $108 as given in the question. One unit is therefore 15. Nine units of coins will fetch us the final answer of 135 points. If Helena Ivan's question is a 5 on the flip table index, this question will receive a 3. Repeated identity and quantity times value are common heuristics and students should be very familiar with them. Please like, click subscribe and the notification bell to receive notifications for more PSRE questions.